Navigating in your documents by zooming and panning will make it much easier to work in InDesign. In this video, you'll explore how to zoom in a document and also how to pan in the document window. With the latest version of InDesign open, you can open your own document or this document from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial. Now there are a lot of ways to move around in an InDesign document. We'll start by discussing what are called view commands. When you open an InDesign file, you'll most likely see one or more pages in the document to start. So that you can fit the page or pages into the document window, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Then click back on the View menu. View commands like Fit Page and Window or Actual Size work on the page showing in the document window. You can try experimenting with some of these other commands like Actual Size, but make sure you choose fit page and window before moving on. Another way to focus on the content you're working on is by zooming in and out. When working with content, sometimes you need to enlarge it to see more detail. We can do this using the zoom tool and other methods. In the tools panel on the left, click to select the zoom tool, come out into the document window, and click once to zoom in a set amount. Where you clicked is now in the center of the document window. Try clicking a few more times to zoom in really closely. Now if you want to zoom out in your document or make things smaller so you can see more, with the zoom tool selected, press the option key on Mac or alt key on Windows and you'll see a minus sign in the zoom tool pointer now. Click several times to zoom out and then release the key. Now suppose you need to move around in the document, maybe to a different area. You can do that by panning within the document window. In the tools panel on the left, select the hand tool then come out into the document window, press and drag to move around. You can think of this as similar to moving a piece of paper on your desk. If you drag up far enough in the document window, you can see that this document has more than one page. In this particular document, there are five pages. You can have a lot of pages in one document and they can also be different sizes, maybe to design multiple versions of a flyer or newsletter, for instance. It's a great way to be able to share assets and colors and different things you'll use in those different pieces. In a later lesson, you'll learn more about navigating and working with pages. But for now, make sure you drag up until you see this page. To ensure that you see the entire page, choose View, Fit Page and Window. The currently selected page is fit into the document window. Just below the menus at the top of the screen, you'll see the View menu. This is where you can see the current zoom level. By clicking the menu, you can zoom to 100%, 4000%, whatever you happen to need. Choose 25% from the menu to zoom out. At this zoom level, you'll probably be able to see some of the other pages in the document. Another really useful method for zooming in InDesign is to use the view commands for zooming. Click the view menu at the top of the screen and you'll see zoom in and zoom out. Choose Zoom In. It's like using the Zoom tool to zoom in, it's zooming in by a set amount. So that you can see the entire page again, choose View, Fit Page and Window. Being able to navigate your document by panning and zooming will be really important when working in InDesign. It'll allow you to see more detailed content close up for instance, or even take a step back to view the entire document. 